She started out with, the, with back pain. It's been three years since Martine Tate buried her daughter Valerie. She lost her insurance, so her medication wasn't being paid for, and that's where it started happening, apparently, with the heroin. One day, Tate got a call. Valerie was being airlifted to the hospital, an overdose. That was the beginning of a journey that took us, I didn't know, where, I had no idea where it was gonna take us. Her daughter survived that overdose, but lost custody of her two children and eventually her life. She was 36. She loved her children very much. She wanted to be with her children, and, um, but unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Valerie Powers Ferris was just one of the hundreds of deaths in a state struggling with spiraling heroin use. And experts say most addicts start by abusing pills. This is a public health crisis. Tate is now working to educate parents by working with Wisconsin CAN, Change Addiction Now. She leads support sessions and raises awareness with family programming. What's wrong? Like this week's showing of the Mark Wahlberg film, If Only in Franklin. I was one of those that thought, not my kid. And it was, don't ever say not my child. Who thinks their child is doing heroin? Tate Hope's candid talk about losing Valerie prompts other parents to ask for help. I get to keep her voice alive through me by speaking up and speaking out. Never give up hope. There's always hope. Tate now runs a monthly support group for families dealing with addiction at the Shorewood Public Library, and Wisconsin Can offers many resources. You can find a link on our website, WISN.com. Colleen, you mentioned that Valerie had two children. Yes, and Grandma is now raising them both. All right, Colleen.